everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. We're always on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny and Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. I'm back with the portfolio journal and um, I'm going to play in it a little bit today. You can see that I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with the spine and the, the cover. So I've just left that until I figure it out. So um, today I'll be working a lot with the um, Shabby Cottage Studio um, wings and bloom uh, ephemera and different things that are in there. I'm also going to, you'll see I've got a few little pieces out of Roxy Creations with the um, blue kit, the backgrounds. Um, so I keep putting a few of those in. And then also I'm going to use, uh, you'll see just a little bit here and there of the Cotton and Twig TX Vintage Garden. Um, there's a green in there that I like. And then also I pulled in just a, a smidge um, from my ephemera, my favorite ephemera, I'm sorry. Um, uh, the five Vintage Blue collage snippet strips. I use these quite a bit. I just cut some out and use them. And so I'm going to, you'll see me use some of that as well. So I'm going to put that back, all of that back here in my little mail folder and um, just get started. So I did prepare a few things. Got a little scrap here. I prepared a few things um, and I need to glue some things in. I did glue in uh, this little card. I glued it to the back of the envelope. I can still put something in it, but when I take something out, you'll see this pretty little card. And look at this teeny tiny itsy bitsy bumblebee right here. It's so sweet such a pretty thing so um so I'm gonna put this pocket right here at the top to go over and cover that postage paid I just didn't want that on there um, I'm not used to these kinds of pockets so I'm excited to see how it works the kind that have all of this extra paper on it um, so I'm thinking that probably what I do is this down so that's basically what I'm doing is I'm gluing down and then I'm going to make a couple of things to put in these uh, two envelopes that we put in here okay all right so I've got that I hope this is right I'm gonna, uh, then I'm going to put that down Yeah, so I got started right away um, chit-chatting about what I'm doing. I'm hoping everybody else is having a really good day. It's very, very hot. Uh, typical of what you would assume August would be. You know, even though I told you last week we'd been having, to me, unseasonably warm, or I'm sorry, cool temperatures. So, but now it's back to being very, very hot in the upper 90s with a very high heat index. Okay, so I have that one down. I'm just flipping through. This one I did yesterday. I added this, this uh, ruffle on here. And I do have a video you might want to check out if you haven't done ruffles before. And I give kind of five different ways that I do ruffles. This is more of the shabby one I did with the uh, branding strip that I use and then I put uh, just took a page out of a bird book folded it and then folded it a little bit and then kind of use that as a hinge to put a writing space in and then I use some of that wonderful faux washi that was in the kit and some of the different pieces from the kit and um, yeah, it turned out turned out to be uh, a really fun piece. Let me get it back in here. Okay. What else is happening? Well, we did these tucks. And remember, um, it has the secret compartment, which I love. I did add a little. Let me, let me put you in a little closer and see if that helps. Oh. There we go. And I did add a little tea card on here just for fun when you pull it out. It slides right back in there nicely and also gives a little bit of uh, strength to the flip when you flip it 
Uh, this is one of the envelopes that were, was in the kit. And so all I've done is just distressed a little bit. And I'm just going to glue it shut here. And then my thought was to make it a belly band. Uh, now I'll probably need to create a, uh, I hate to cover this up, but you know, I can always print and make another one and, uh, make an, an envelope anytime I want to, but I'll probably have to make my own tall skinny because this particular page is much narrower than the, than the card. So I had to, I cut these, uh, little envelopes down but let's see just for kicks if that will so this will just you know so like it's a belly band something will slide all the way through and this will hold it and then I'll have a little place here to tuck something so that's gonna be super fun okay we'll come back or I'll come back at some point and uh, load it up I may have maybe one more video before uh, I do the uh, kind of the walkthrough of it. So I still have plenty to add. Okay, here is another one of those envelopes. Um, when I cut it down, I didn't cut it. I cut it a little bit off on one side, which is fine. You don't really notice it uh, because of the coloring and uh, when I put the distress ink on it so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um, glue this little envelope part down I think that's what I wanted to do <laughs> and then I'm gonna put it kind of down here a little ways as a pocket And then I love these little letters that came in the kit. I love them so much. And I can definitely see me making more of those for other journals. Um, and what I did was I printed them on some of my coffee dyed paper. And oh my gosh, they just feel so great. And then uh, you see this little tear at the top. That tear was part of the printing so this envelope when it was printed um or when it was copied or scanned or whatever had a little thing so i went ahead and tore that out and i just love how it looks so then this will go in here i thought that green looked neat with that so fun a nice little journaling spot there i think okay another flip and remember this one also has a secret in there this was some coffee dyed paper that I had done as well feels really good I just love how that feels okay um, already did this one uh, here's one of the envelopes that we're gonna do and then this one um, on the other one the let me just show you the window was at the bottom so I put this up at the top I thought that looked fun but I didn't necessarily want to do that here because anything I put in would cover and it just didn't size right so I'm going to put it back here and then we'll figure something else out with the writing on the front of that envelope the print on the front of that envelope Probably won't do that today, but we'll figure something out. Sometimes I think part of the fun of uh, making the junk journals is going back through and looking to see, did I feel anything? Did I forget anything? You know, you really examine each page. Could it use one little extra thing? <laughs> That's how I am. Could it use one more thing? Where could I put one more thing? And then kind of examining what what could I put there or did I forget anything or is there a pocket that needs something? OK, 
Okay, we got that down. Here's that other one that I did um, from the bird book. This one I left pretty full. Added a little bit of a tear of a coffee dyed paper here. And I, again, used a, some of that faux washi. Up here I used some of Roxy Creations Blue. And then back here. And then I used some of the ephemera that was in the kit. And this sweet, sweet little embroidered flower print that was in the kit. I think I might have showed you that before. And then I just used some of the faux washi to accent and then um i used a label from shabby dabby doo da is where that's from so yeah i thought this went really well the coloring went really well and i i'll figure something else out for here but then i just made another little kind of a shabby uh ruffle and I doubled it up there's another color in the back here I don't know if you can see that the bluish and that's it okay so now we're back to let's fill these so that's kind of a walkthrough isn't it um or flip through as they say so let's go ahead and and work on the the different journal cards for these um let me plug up my glue for a second here okay so i went ahead and and tried to prepare ahead and pull out some things that i thought i would use for these so on this one i have to remember which one goes into which because i kind of was thinking about you know where the pocket was located and such so let me put that up there and this one goes here so on this one Is that right? Let me just double check this. I got my little parts here. I think on this one I was going to put it like this. Yeah. Okay. I just had to remind myself. Um, but one thing I did forget is washi. So let me get my washi out. I wanted to get a couple of different ones to do this with. Um, that's cute, but it's awfully narrow. I do like it, though. This one is what I'm looking at. It's very narrow. Um, do I have anything wider? I'm kind of looking for something that's a little bit nondescript a little bit not camo i know that i just oh here's one that's pretty i think i've used that before in this journal or in a previous journal so that's a possibility black and white is always a possibility even it's it's one of those that um gives you the unexpected that we talk about it's also very pretty I think I've used that one too in one of these journals well I mean those are some good here's another that's pretty too I've used a lot of that it looks like I've got a few out I wish this was wider it's very pretty but I don't think it would hinge well. Okay, so I'm going to keep those out. We'll see what happens. Okay. But that is one of the first things I probably need to do is hinge. So I'm going to take those off. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a bit here. Okay. So basically what I want to do is I'm going to hinge these two together with washi. So that means that I need them to be like this. And just a teeny tiny gap. Okay. What do I want to do? I'm very tempted to use this one. 
just to show you how the unexpected makes a difference. Super tempted. very sticky so I don't think I need any glue on it and I'm just putting enough on the decorative side to hold it nicely and putting the most of it on the other side okay I, I just want to see real quick how get it nice and straight okay then I'm just going to cut this back a little ways right here where it's these are not the best scissors I just grabbed them because I I didn't want goo all over my good scissors which I don't even know. I, I get goo on them all the time. <laughs> but I just thought, oh, I'm going to grab those. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. Oops. Oops. Everything's falling. All right. I'm just bone getting a bone folder out to get that a nice crease all right and some of that will be covered up because I'm gonna put uh, this on it too not super straight but maybe by the time you look at it that print has made you so dizzy you don't notice <laughs> uh, so I did uh, you can see that I put this on um, sticker paper or sticker label paper whatever isn't that pretty and there is something I can glue with this uh, little oval is so sweet and it was part of the kit and I just love it I mean look at that that reminds me of the zinnias out front remember I told you I had um, bees and butterflies and hummingbirds and I had the other, you know, I had a big bird picking at the seeds. Um, okay, so there's that. And then I took this, this is a tag out of the kit. Let's see, here's another one I'll show you. There are several, several tags that came with the kit. They're all beautiful. And I just folded it over. I thought this one was really pretty. They're all pretty. And I'm just going to use it as kind of a flip up here. I thought that'd be really pretty. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue to get that down. I'm kind of hungry today. It's funny how I always eat the same thing for breakfast. I eat the same thing for breakfast. And when I was working, I ate the same thing for breakfast and lunch. Just no variation well unless you know they were cooking something great at the cafeteria or something but I always packed my lunch and I ate the same breakfast so but it's funny how some days you're more hungry than others that's how it is today okay I think that's kind of cute I might get in and grab a label too I might do that but before I do that I want to, what do I want to do? I'm going to glue this down. This is just a piece of paper I tore. I'm going to glue that down at the top. Oh, got my 
hands to do. Okay, put it in the center here. Okay, I'm using that as a reinforcement because I wanted to put, wanted to use this slot punch and I wanted to reinforce. Sorry about that. I just need to get a little piece of... So I just put that on there as a reinforcement. That's what it looks like on the back. You know, you don't have to... It doesn't have to be perfect. You could. You could um, punch out a circle or something. But I kind of thought that would be fun. And then I'm just going to put a little piece of fabric here. This is off of, I think, a table runner. That glue holding me back. And I'm going to really try not to put a whole lot on, just enough to really, you know, hold it because I just don't want it bleeding through. Okay. Glue on there. All right. And then I'm going to take my finger to it because, again, I think that might help it to not go through and grab it. Paper towel. All right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> perfect. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then this was just uh, also in the um, ephemera kit to this <clears throat> to this digital, and I'm gonna again put just a smidgy of fabric tack just because uh, it's gonna go on top of you know fabric, and I just want to make sure it sticks good. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you that tonight is the night that. Um, you know, I told you we meet, I'm starting to meet my girlfriends once a month uh, to have dinner and catch up. <clears throat> so tonight's that night, so that's going to be super fun. Uh, label. Label, label, label. Is this my labels? Okay. I think I'm just going to do a little label, a little a small one. These are Tracy Fox labels. Let me think. We'll see. That might be where I put it. Yeah, I think there. But I'm going to cut it down a little bit. I like just to have a little bit of that blue border or whatever the color is of the label. I like just to have a little bit of it. Okay. Well, that's not very straight. Anyways, we're going to go back to the sandwich shop we went to um, the first time we met. Uh, the first time we started doing this and um, go and have sandwich or soup or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to be in the mood for. In the mood for anything right now. <laughs> anything that came my way. Okay. And then this one, I'm just going to leave like that. I just thought it was so pretty. I'm going to put you back again a little bit. Okay. I just thought that was so sweet. So I just decided to leave it. All right. Just trying to get the label done.
All right. One done. Let's see how it looks. I think it's sweet. I think it's very sweet. Then we'll work on something for that. Okay, next. Okay, this side. All right. Boy, I've got just so much stuff here, brother. Okay, now this one, I'm going to put, maybe maybe I should leave you on, on uh, zoom in for this. Oh, wait, I forgot to put the, I forgot to put the, um, I just saw something, I saw that tucked up, it got bent up. Uh, I forgot to put the ribbon on. This is just some blue sari that I ordered online a bunch of it one time, probably two years ago, and I'm still cutting pieces off of it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love it so much. It's super cute. And, and do you kind of see what I mean with the, with, you know, using something unexpected, it just makes things pop. All right, now let's get her in there. It fits nicely. Smells good. It's that faux leather or that Mama Gombe, um, envelope. I love the crickle in it. You might get tired of hearing it as we work through these, but then then this one is just coffee dyed with a doily, a plastic doily over it. Probably a, a um, plastic uh, placemat or something. Okay, now on to this. Um, this one I want to go ahead and do this first because uh, I think it's going to be a little cumbersome once we get the get the two of them you know put together with with the washi tape I think it might be a little bit hard to get them to, to get this done these are the tickets I got from 49 a market at our local you know I went to town last week or the week before and uh snooped around in there well this particular paper does not take the distress very well it doesn't it doesn't take it very well at all actually <laughs> uh, so i'm just going to glue this down i'm just using this as a background if you can even see it here And since it doesn't take it very well, I'm going to leave a little gap just so you can see a little bit of distressing. That might go overboard a little bit. I should have just flipped that around to the other side still do it it's fun might need to re re glue just a, a little bit because I had uh, let it sit on that paper towel All right, and then I wanted to put this butterfly down. Oh, I forgot to get, I forgot to get the uh, antennas out. I 
I just keep like thread wrapped around that at hand in case I need antennas. <laughs> and I'm just kind of twist it a little bit to get that to, to bend a little bit better. Okay. And then let's see, where do I want this guy? I kind of wanted it like this, so use my and get it down here. I use I'm just using that pin that goes in my glue to kind of get it squishy. Now that'll be fine for just a minute, but then I'll need to pinch it together here in a second. I'm going to get these glue, get this butterfly down. Okay. All right. Sometimes, you know, by the time you get your butterfly ready, um, that glue for the antennas has gotten gooey enough, sticky enough to where you can push it with a pin and it behaves. I don't know if you can see the antennas or not. And then this particular butterfly has a pretty big head, so... The antennas being kind of far apart work, but if you wanted them, if it was a tinier head and you wanted them t closer together, you would just use your pin to move it, or that's how I do it. You know, I just use my pin to move it because I think it might be because my thread is a polyester, I think wrapped cotton. If you had like just cotton, it might, it might be easier to adhere to uh, with the glue. Okay, so then this one is going to go up at the top so that it can poke through this here. This was a postcard. Isn't that so sweet? This was in the kit. And so was this green, which I absolutely love this print so much. I would have clothing in it. I would have bedding in it. I would have wallpaper in it, dishes. You name it, I would I would have this print. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's put this down. And that is going to go like this. You have to do it that way. Or... <laughs> okay. All right, let's see here. Now, with that there... I'm going to just probably put a couple of hinge points. So let's use, I think I'll use this to do a couple of hinge points. This one's not as sticky, so I may use glue with it. I think I'm just going to take right past that flower. Let's straighten it up a little bit. Just adding a little bit more glue to it. Holding my breath. <laughs> Still not very straight cut, is it? Okay, 
Yeah. Look on the back, I can see it's not very straight. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off where it ends here. Okay. Oh boy. Uh. All right, it looks like that. <laughs> well, let's see what it looks like when we bend it. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, now I'm just gonna get that a little bit. Okay, now where am I? Where am I? I think I'm going to glue this down. Again, I'm going to use the tab, so I wanted to reinforce it a little bit, and I'm just going to glue this down. And this is part of the, um, oh gosh, part of. Cotton and Twig TX. That's what this is, Cotton and Twig. I thought it was really pretty. And again, I just tore, you know, randomly. I thought it was pretty. And we will put tab in here for a little punch. Hmm. I think it's doing that because I haven't waited for it to, for the glue to dry completely. There, that's fine. Okay. And I wanted to do that right away because I wanted to put this away. I want to give myself a little bit more room. I've got so much out. So I'm going to put this washi away as well. All right. Okay. And then why don't we do this before I forget it? This is a piece of satin. Just, I mean, a smidge. This is why I keep that pickle jar to keep little smidgies because, um, you know, you can use them for anything. And this was off of, I don't know if you remember when I did that um, peacock journal. I used a lot of vel or um, satin, and this is from that. Cut that a little bit. I don't really cut. I, I put my scissors there, and then I tear it over the scissors when I do this so it gives it kind of a raggedy edge okay and then this one uh, I did the same thing here and I thought I would put it right here I'm trying I'm reminding myself what I'm doing <laughs> And it's so, so fun to do that, you know, to use these extra as little tabs. I think, I think it's fun. Kind of reimagine things. It's really what junk journaling, junk journaling is all about is reimagining things. 
Now I see a little bit of white poking through there, so I'm just going to get it with that. I think it's very pretty. Lots of writing space. Has a fun little peekaboo in there. It doesn't have a full full picture like the other one, but I thought having that stamp show through was neat. And then I will find something for here and for here. I like it. I'm really happy with it. I think they turned out fun. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me. I hope you get a chance to get in your craft room, craft a little bit, um, even if it's adding a little bit of marker to a thank you card or adding lace to an already existing card that you send someone, you know, or just getting an envelope and, and putting, getting your stamps out and stamping on it before you send it off. So I hope you get a chance. Well, don't forget, we pray blessings over you and we want you to know that you're so loved. So I hope you enjoyed today and let me know what you think. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.